The middle ear carries vibrations from the outer ear to the inner ear by transferring sound from the air of the outer ear to the fluid of the inner ear. And the middle ear must overcome this loss of energy that results when sound passes from one medium, air, to the other, fluid. So there it is. If we have air to fluid and the middle ear is the impedance matcher that helps to overcome this loss of energy from air to fluid. The middle ear is an air, oval airfield space about two centimeters, half high, half wide, half deep, separated from the ear canal by the tympanic membrane connected to the nasopharynx, the nose and the throat by the eustachian tube. That's why when you get sick, you see an ear, nose and throat doctor because it's connected. The eustachian tube connects the middle ear to the nose and the throat. The middle ear is lined with a mucous membrane that's similar to the lining of your nose. It's ciliated. The motion of these hair-like projections put together a wiping action that cleanses the middle ear by moving the particles down and out the eustachian tube. The eustachian tube enters the middle ear anteriorly at 30 degree angle and passes down the nasopharynx. It's also lined with the same skin that's in your nose. Normally the eustachian tube is kept closed, but when you yawn, sneeze, or swallow, or apply excessive pressure, it opens up. So if you were to yawn right now, you stretch and open your eustachian tube and you feel that it aerates your middle ear. In infants, the eustachian tube is shorter and wider and more on a horizontal plane. So there's your eustachian tube connecting your middle ear to your nasopharynx. Now the eustachian tube plays an important role in keeping the air pressure equal in the middle ear and the ear canal. When the air pressure is equal between the middle ear space and the ear canal, the tympanic membrane moves at its best. So pressure equalization is maintained through the eustachian tube. That fullness sensation you get when you go up on an airplane or up on an elevator very fast or underground is a function of the pressure in the ear canal being different from the pressure in the middle ear space. For example, if you're at sea level, the air pressure in your middle ear is at sea level, so is the air pressure in your ear canal. Now let's say you very quickly go up in an airplane 30,000 miles or feet, whatever it is above the earth, all of a sudden the air in your ear canal is much thinner than the air pressure in your middle ear. The air pressure in your middle ear is still at sea level. So that's why you get this fullness sensation. You feel like your ears are going to pop. They don't pop, but what you need to do is you need to yawn and swallow or chew gum and open your eustachian tube so that you aerate the middle ear space and the air in the middle ear space then gets to that same pressure at the 30,000 miles or feet, whatever it is above the earth. And the same thing for when it's going down. You're at that very thin air pressure and then all of a sudden you're at a heavier air pressure when you land. And again, it's that fullness sensation. So you swallow, you chew, and you try to aerate the middle ear to balance out the pressures.